Hey guys, it's Dane with DynastyBreaks.com. You picked a very fun break to watch. We are opening 35 boxes of memorabilia cards, photos, graded cards, partridge in a pear tree, and I'm here with Skeeter. Hi. Skeeter Robinson, fantasy football uh, expert. Uh, I, I don't like expert. Fantasy football guy. That works. All right, fantasy football guy. We brought him in because this was a fantasy draft. Everyone in this break got two NFL teams. You guys got to pick them. Uh, before we open the 35 boxes, we're going to look at your teams. I'm not going to read these off. Uh, these are the two teams everyone picked. Uh, we went down the board round one, up the board round two. So that's what we got. Uh, everyone in this break uh, with two teams. There's a list of what we're breaking. If you're curious, you can pause your video. We may get some college hits. We will assign those as we go. We may get some uh, multi-sport hits. I've got some multi-sport boxes. Why do I have those? Why do I want a basketball card in this? Well, it helps us fill up hitless spots. So let's do, uh, we're going to do six extravaganza jerseys from Gold Rush first. Skeeter's oh, favorite. Boy. You have all the regular stuff a normal house has, says Carly, except air conditioning. You don't have air conditioning? She doesn't have air conditioning. Wow. They're sweating to the oldies. It might get cool up there at night. You know what? I don't recognize the signature. I'm going to set this over here. I don't recognize the signature. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think he does know. This is going to be Jamie Foxx, guys. Isn't this Willie Beeman? Willie Beeman, which I think is not on an actual NFL team in the movie. We're going to look this up. I'm going to look up the JSA authentication. I think this is Jamie Foxx. we got to give that a boom, too. Let me look it up. JSA, look up. Let's roll. This is big, man. We have not gotten one of these. Or maybe we've gotten one years ago. I don't remember. WPP362. 373 if you're following along. Jamie Foxx. Did he play an NFL person in uh, Any Given Sunday? Is that what it was? Yeah, Any Given Sunday. Seeing anything. I'm not familiar with the movie. Beeman was a NFL player, but that's not the same Willie Beeman. Um, he is the Willie Beeman that actually played in the NFL is not to be confused with Jamie Foxx uh, from any given Sunday. Stand by. Yeah, it's the AFFA. No, nah, he did not actually play for an NFL team. This is going to be uh, part of our random. This is going to be, uh, or actually, it's going to go to Hitless probably. Willie Beeman jersey. Not the first time the first thing you have pulled has been a random to hitless jersey. Uh, yes, it? yes. So I'm gonna hand you. I'm gonna hand you this. I'm not gonna label it, but we're just still. We'll just put that in our pile, and you can just sit in the normal stack. We'll we'll put it on our list here if somebody gets it. Okay. That is a big hit, guys. That is a big hit. Well, I'm excited about that. Hey, let's get a Charlie Ward now. Let's get a Charlie Ward. <laughs> And if you need to, when you're packing that up, use the conference table if you need to. Okay. You got table in here. I just want to set this one to the side since it's. Uh... That's fine. Well, we don't, I won't label it ever anyway. It's just going to go shipping. Okay. Yeah, you're good. You can just pile it up. Oh, Oklahoma. Smoke them if you got them, guys. Smoke them if you got them. Miami Dolphins. I'll label the boxes here. Miami Dolphins. Guess who? Ricky. Ricky Williams, the beast from the University of Texas, former Saint, former Dolphin, former Raven. He was a Raven. Oh, I Look it up. That. I forgot about the Ravens. I saw him sign a Ravens helmet at the Dallas Card Show, and I was going, I forgot about that. Got to meet him at the Dallas Card Show. Ricky Williams, Dave's a buyer. That's the alternate jersey. It's orange. So Daniel is not here. Daniel's not here, but he's here in spirit. 
That was Daniel's number one ranked team. FYI, number one ranked team for Daniel. Wait, before we get too far, Merrill, my Mount Bears Mount Rushmore, Peyton Sanders, Erlacher, boy, fourth one between like Singletary, maybe Richard Dent. No, Red Grange. Sid Luckman? Red Grange, greatest player in the world for a while. Greatest player in the world. Red Grange. Don't forget Red Grange. All right, next up we have a red jersey. This is Joe Staley. This is a Niners jersey. Going to go to San Francisco. It's going to be Timmy. Joe Staley jersey. Uh, he actually does breaks with our uh, buddies over at Mojo Breaks sometimes. Doug and Dan. Oh, nice. Conrad. Yeah, man, they get this guy to break uh, with them. Beckett authenticated. Joe Staley. I'm going to label this box. I'll give you that one. I'm going to back away from the mic a little. What do you do? Yeah. <clears throat> or you move the chair back a little bit. Mike will pick it up right there. Uh, Timmy? Perfect. You ever seen him break? No, I have not. He is a big dude. <laughs> He's a big well, dude. Oh, he played offensive line. Then, uh... He's a big dude. Um, so we got Willie Beeman. We got Ricky Williams. We got Joe Staley. Skeeter votes a bear hit. Whoever has the bear, Skeeter's voting for you. Absolutely. Mainly because he likes juice. Uh, his Saint one was the last one. We got a Saints jersey of Ricky Williams in the last break, I think. Is that right? I don't remember. Would this be a cry time? I think it's a cry time. I'm going to guess Harrison Smith. I would be wrong. Booth Jr. I'll let you do the research there. Is it Andrew? That's what I'm thinking. I think it's Andrew Booth Jr. And if you guys didn't know about Andrew Booth uh, Jr., he's the son of Andrew Booth Sr. Yes, Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> Skeeter's on the board, and he's doing a pretty darn good job. Let Skeeter know how he's doing on the board. Pretty good on the sounds. Pretty good on the sounds. Minnesota Vikings and our good friend Danny and Shannon. Danny and Shannon. I'm going to label this. We'll do uh, Vikings. Oh, there we go. What a guy. Oh, Kringle's got the jersey. Does she ever wear it around the house, the Ricky Williams? Does she ever wear it around the house? You guys ever wear your Saints jerseys around the house when you're having fun? We get personal here at Dynasty. Oh. We get personal. We get too personal here at Dynasty. Oh, it's John Wilkes Booth Jr., says TJ. Oh. Oh. No one has the uh, jailbird spot. Uh, This may be college. I feel like this is college. Skeeter says this is college. Roll Tide? This looks like Roll Tide to me. Oh. Uh, Rick's. Rick's uh, Catfish House. Excellent food. Rick's. I'm going to look this up on uh, Beckett's website. Eli Rick's. No, I'm not. <laughs> That's good. Who is uh, a college player? No, he, well, he went to LSU in Alabama. Let me see if I can. Eli Ricks. Yes. He's a corner for the Eagles. Yes, I'm just making sure that he was. Well, you knew the Eagles song earlier. What was it? E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles. All right, Jesse, E-A-G-L-E-S. I couldn't spell it. Uh, Jesse, you're going to get that. It is a Ricks jersey. And what was his first name? Eli? Eli. I'm showing that he is a Philadelphia Eagle. Yes, and he did wear number seven in Alabama. All right. It's confirmed. It has been confirmed. By Thank the... you, Elroy. What a true gentleman. A plus. A plus. Like all your students are getting this semester. Um... Like in, in Skeeter's summer class that he's teaching QuickBooks, they're all getting A pluses. Well, there is no possible, there are no pluses or minuses. So oh, so so just A's. 
Just all A's. We'll see. That'd be great. We'll see. Oh, you haven't gotten the Ricky Williams yet, but when you do, you need to close the front door so people don't see y'all. No Mahomes yet, Galaxy. No Mahomes. But we're hoping for one. Oh, this is Skeeter's guy. Oh, Skeeter, it's your guy. L.A. Chargers. You know who it is? Is it Ken? Well, no, that would make sense, though. But no, that would make more sense than you're not. This doesn't make any sense. It's powder blue. Oh. It's Chargers. It's Kentock. It's Isaiah Spiller. Yeah, I don't. I have nothing for or against Mr. Spiller. Skeeter's guy. I don't know why. It just is. He told me it was his guy years ago. Isaiah Spiller. He may. Hey, he may be a thing. Austin Eckler is not in town anymore. He left. He left town. He's gone. He gone. It's Gus Bus time. No oh, man, it is Gus. I think like, Gus Edwards gonna have a good year. Also, kind of right now going like seventh, eighth round of fantasy football drafts. Maybe even a little bit later. I like him as a RB three. Not Isaiah Spiller. Maybe as a. I don't know. I have, to, I have to look at their depth chart because I thought they no. That, oh, you know who else they signed was J.K. Dobbins. Uh, he's always hurt though. Well, this is true. His uh, nickname is Just Kidding Dobbins. You thought I was gonna play? Just kidding. You know, he's the poor guy. Just I know. I do feel bad for him, except for the fact that he made millions of dollars. I feel bad. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, I'm back. I can't fit all this on the table, so I have to go make some trips here. Threads and slabs football. One slabbed card, one jersey. I have ordered more of this. I actually ordered the last they had in stock um, in their warehouse. I got it all. So we're going to have threads and slabs for quite a while. Well, I say that. Not not quite a while. For a little bit. We're going to have threads and slabs in these breaks. I stand corrected. I said all the Brady jerseys were uh, Patriots. That looks like a Bucks jersey, so let's get that. Hey, there's the Walter Payton I know and love from Pro Set. Let's get that one. Skeeter might take that and leave. and take I, it. I would not do such a thing. Oh, okay. Hmm. I'm going to do the jersey later. Oh, I know who that is. I, already know I think is. I do, too. It's the Rookie of the Year. I believe so. It's a Rookie of the Year. That doesn't narrow it down, does it? All right, here's your slab. Feels like PSA to me. The Astros are playing football tonight. They're using C.J. Stroud. Ooh. E-A-G-L-E-S. I remember what Skeeter said earlier. Devonta Smith, uh, 2021 score. This is a hand-signed card. PSA 10 on the auto. The card is not graded. The autograph is graded at 10. Who has Philly? That would be Jesse. Here you go, Jess. You sit that on your table there. Eagles, first team to double up. And that's technically college. I'll note it down here. Devontae Smith uh, card. Devontae Smith, rookie, PSA. So Eagles getting two on my uh, college list there. And I believe this to be Will Anderson. I believe this to be Will Anderson. If it's not, I'm just going to scratch out what this says. I think this is going to go to the Houston Texans and Young El Ray. And this looks like a Bama jersey. We are getting some college. I, I prefer not to get a ton of college, but it's still pretty cool looking when it's Bama. Uh, and I will look this up. He, we, was, he was 31. He was 31. Do you think I should verify it just in case? Well, I'm looking on college football reference. I just mean the Beckett. Code. Oh, sure. Let me verify the code, Elray. Make sure Skeeter didn't sign it. <laughs> Pretty good penmanship if he did. All right, uh, B A S. Look up. We'll see when he signed it. All that good stuff. Uh, if you're following along at home, it's W one twenty one eighty one. There you go, Skeeter. Uh, yeah, he signed it in Alabama in 2022. That would have been way pre-draft, right? So he signed that before he's in the NFL. Yes. There you go. Young El Ray on the board, as we knew he would be. El Ray, a drafting genius. 
Men want to be like him. Women want to be with him. This is what I hear. Mm. <laughs> he said, hmm. Mm. Yes. Yes. Yeah, they do put some college in here. They do put some college. Uh, what's up with all those Smith? It's like Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I know who this is, I think. Yes, I do. I know who the jersey is. Uh, let's see who the card is. The jersey's name is uh, Smith. I know it's a common last name. Smith. Kind of like uh, Robinson. Very common. Mm -hmm. Very normal. Very usual. Yeah. Oh, you called it. Yeah. You said it. Skeeter said it. It is a mini auto of a major player. This is Lawrence Taylor. I'm gonna go. To the, I'm gonna go there. Greatest defensive player of all time. And that would be a 1982 tops sticker. I have actually never seen this card. No. I have never seen one of these. 82 top sticker, hand signed. Year I was born. Wow. This card has been in, in existence as long as Skeeter Robinson. Fantasy expert. Fantasy guy. Fantasy guy. Um, New York football giants um, are going to be uh, Juan. And what do you say about that? Nice Juan. Nice Juan. Yeah, he said it. All right, this is going to be for the Ravens Nevermore. Ravens on the jersey. This is going to be our good friend. Uh, he left the Bears. I don't. I don't blame him. Uh, Roquan Smith. Roquan Smith for the Ravens, and uh, that is Juice. Juice is loose. Roquan. Oh, Dave called it. Dave called Roquan. We got X-ray vision, Dave. Shave your beard, Dave. There you go, Roquan. Number zero. Number zero. It's not a real number, I know. All right, uh, I'll be right back. I'm beaming out. I'm Willie beaming out. See what I did there? Willie beaming out. You're doing a fine job. This is a two-man job, this break. We learned that early on. This is a two-man job. A two-person job. A five Carly job. Might take five Carlys to do it. All right. Um, we are doing TriStar Hidden Treasures. Just got these in. Uh, 2024 edition. A little bit smaller box on these. Uh, brand new. Now, again, I think they have the treasure tickets possible in this. I'm not sure. Not sure if they have treasure tickets possible, but they do have a nice lineup. Now, which side am I opening? This opening boxes is very confusing. Okay, there it is. There's the main part. Got a good lineup. Got Brady on the box, Mahomes, Stroud. Calvin Johnson. Calvin. Monsters in the midway. Oh, Butkus. Oh, how can I forget Butkus on the Mount Rushmore? I'm telling you, I've never pulled a Calvin Johnson jersey. Not kidding. We've never pulled one. Um... So yeah, this is a good product. Uh, five of these in a case. So this is a full case. You'll see this next time too. And we get the game show card. And we get the game show card. I'm probably going to label this. Give me a second. I'll label that before I pass it to you. <laughs> Dave's a buyer. Jalen Waddle. We'll give that a boom. There you go, Miami. I'll pass you the, uh, the card that goes with it. Uh, Jalen Waddle. Dolphin second hit. I'm going to put Miami on that box. I think Daniel knew what he was doing when he ranked Miami first overall. Yeah, uh, Daniel sent us his team rankings, guys. He was not here for the draft. Miami was his number one ranked team. He mainly wanted to snipe Dave, I bet. I mean, obviously. I don't know. Miami's been hitting a lot of these breaks, so they're a desirable team. Elray said splat. JSA, authenticated. There you go, Skeeter. Those are, uh, those are a little tough. They're... Uh, they fold their jerseys here, guys. Hopefully you guys will frame some of these if you're a fan or trade it for a team you're a fan of, if not. Get these bad boys framed. You're done. Dave's done breaking, he said. It's over. He's done. He quits. 
Also, he's done shaving. Apparently. Oh, Skeeter said no, you can't quit. Sorry, Dave. Skeeter said. Oh. Dallas Cowboys first ever draft pick. Do you know who it is? Well, sure you do. I believe this would be Mr. Bob Lilly. Look at you. I love the name Bob, too. Bob yeah. Lilly, Hall of Famer in college, Hall of Famer in the pros. You can't really do anything else. 75th anniversary team, 100th anniversary team, all decade teams. I mean, his resume's not quite as impressive as Skeeter and myself, <laughs> but it's close. I mean. Bob Lilly. I may not have as impressive of a resume, but I stayed at a Holiday Inn Express last night. I'll trade Dane for a wet <laughs> sock. Hey, Carly, we don't mention socks. Dave had an incident in the past. with uh, You don't like that, do you? You know, Dave had an incident with the sock in the past. We were talking about that earlier, seriously. Not joking. Hall of Fame in, the, in 80. Tell her, Dave. Tell her, Dave. Tell her about your incident. That's Brian. That's Juice. Why are you making him relive some uh, bad memories? I didn't do it. Carly did. No, you're the one encouraging it. I don't encourage dissension. I welcome it, but I don't encourage it. I want to show you the box, too. That's how the box looks. You can check out anytime you want, uh, but you can never leave, says Chaney. Chaney's uh, really Don Henley. Oh, Hotel California. Nice. You called it. Oh, don't know if I've seen this jersey. Don't know if we've seen this one. Elray, you chose well. Houston Texans, you already have a Will Anderson. I like this player. I don't know what happened last year. I know Joe Mixon is there. Don't forget about Damian Pierce. Don't forget about Damian Pierce. That is going to go to Elray. Second hit for Houston. Texans coming out to play. It's a good-looking jersey, man. Good-looking jersey. He can catch. He can run. He's a good cook, I hear. Maybe. Maybe. TriStar Authenticated. Number 31 Texans jersey. Pretty heavy uh, stitching there, Doc. Pretty heavy. Doc? You know, like uh, Back to the Future reference. Uh oh. It's heavy, Doc. Every time something bad would happen, it's heavy, Doc. Now, this box got sat on. Uh, Bob sat on this. I don't know if you guys can see. It's kind of caving in. Bob, Bob Lilly? Bob, if Bob Lilly sat on this, it would be a pancake. I think Bob at the factory. He works at the TriStar uh, factory. Guys, give us a thumbs up. Skeeter and I would like to get to 100 uh, thumbs ups tonight. If not, Skeeter's going to be very upset. Oh, I like it. I like it college but this is like a legendary college player and this is going to go to the cardinals i think I'm on it. you're on it yeah number of seasons okay. we're both on it i'm i'm listening to skeeter though i trust your judgment four seasons with arizona one with houston one with oakland boy the oakland i don't remember that I don't um either. All right, this is Matt Leinert. Matt Leinert, uh, most number of seasons, going to be for the Arizona Cardinals. He was the number 10 pick there. This is a uh, USC jersey. There you go, Cardinals, one of the last teams taken. Daniel. Daniel again on his uh, draft list he sent us. Matt Leinert, I'll give that uh, card over to Skeeter. Sorry about that. Threw it over there recklessly. If you're a Trojans fan, uh, you got to have fond memories of Matt Leiner. You just do. It's required. Oh, nice auto. Heisman Trophy inscription. Heisman Trophy inscription number 11. That's not one I remember getting before. I do not remember getting that. Isn't he, doesn't he do some of the uh, college football pregame stuff on Fox? I think he does. He's a big college guy now, as he should be. I also think he Third. might he might have done some breaks too with Mojo. He has, he has with our buddies Mojo. He's uh been on their uh, podcast at least. Third hit for Daniel using his draft list. He emailed us. Now to be fair, Arizona was his thirtieth ranked team. That's who he ended up with. But still, but uh, 
chose wisely, apparently. I'm going to note that in my college stuff. So Eli Ricks, Devontae Smith, uh, Will Anderson, I need to note. Matt Liner. And Matt Leinert jersey is going to be Arizona Cardinals. Any other college? I don't think we had any other college. I don't remember any others. No. Nope. Chat will let us know. Yeah. That's all the college I remember. We noted on our list there. Oh, I love it. I got to meet this uh, young man. I call him a young man. He's kind of an older man. Heisman Trophy winner. He's from the state of Texas. Went to Notre Dame. NFL Hall of Fame. Pretty much did it all. Tim Brown, baby. That's a boom. College football, pro football Hall of Fame. Pretty tough to beat. Tim Brown. Tim Brown. Raiders jersey. Love it. Uh, Raiders are... Neil Flo. There you go, Neil. I bet you don't have this one. Maybe you do, but I don't think you do. Great autograph. Super nice guy, too. Super nice guy. He was at the uh, Industry Summit, put on by Beckett a couple years ago. He was the keynote speaker. I liked him. All right, I'm going to go get some more stuff. We're not done. We're not even close. Be right back. Fill out the board nicely, guys. Fill out the board nicely. All right, it's mini helmet time. I love this product. This is uh, going to be Gold Rush mini helmets. They use a lot of alternates. They use more alternates in this than the Pro Bowl. How do you like that? Yeah, five of ten. It's a good joke. More alternates than the NFL Pro Bowl. All right, this is going to be our uh, is this our first Series Four? No, this is our second time doing Series Four and our last. We're going to be doing Series Five mini helmets next time. You will not see this break next Friday. We'll take a week off. Uh, we're going to do Allen and Ginner baseball to end out next Friday night. And, uh, yeah, probably see this one in two weeks. I do need to restock. I need to recharge my memorabilia batteries a little bit. A lot of products, probably 10 to 14 different products we have to keep in stock to do this. Oh, my guy. We've been seeing him lately. I love it. Carly approves, one of the greatest Packers of all time. I feel comfortable saying that. This is going to be Sterling Sharp. Definite boom there, the Eclipse helmet. Sterling Sharp, baby. Should he be a Hall of Famer? Best receiver in the league for about a three-year period, four-year period probably? I don't know. I don't know if he should. You tell me. Hall of Famer? Uh, I don't know. I'd have, to, I'd have to look some things up on him. Led the NFL in touchdowns a couple years, I think. Uh, Green Bay. Congrats. Moving along. Game seven for the Stanley Cup Monday night. Oh, man. That's going to be good. Edmonton down 3 0 if we come back to win the next three. Oh. I don't think. I'm curious if anybody's ever come back for 3 0 to win the Stanley Cup. I mean, I'm going to guess no just because of the odds, but I don't right. know. Right. All right, it's college. A lot of Buckeyes. Someone had to put every one of these stickers on. Not kidding. Who is it? It's not even a speed helmet. This is a classic helmet. Number 88. Jeremy Ruckert. He was a Jet. I think he's still a Jet. Jeremy Ruckert. He is a Jet. All right, that is going to go to the New York Jets, which is uh, Juice, Cowboys and Jets, Bob Lilly, Jeremy Rucker, and that is not who I thought it was. That confused me. Uh, Beckett witnessed. Get some Buckeyes there. What's cool about these, take this to a card show. Get other Ohio State guys to sign it. That's what I would do. Maybe if you're going to the National, something like that. Do I need to mark this at all? Nope, not at all. I'll put it on the list. Okay. Jeremy Rucker. 
And New York. A Jetropolitan. It's getting a lot of college. This is probably the most college we've gotten in, I don't know, five or six breaks. Puka dropping the uh, NHL knowledge. Toronto came back from 3-0 to win the Cup in 1942. Wow. Wow. Look, at, look at you, Puka. Well done. What Round of applause for Puka. Skeeter's all over that soundboard. You were born to be a soundboard. College again. Wow. Oh, man. Somebody's going to dress up like Isaiah Spiller. We do have to look up and make sure he's still a Charger. Uh, the Isaiah Spiller jersey was clearly a Chargers jersey. That's where it goes. Don't know why I did that. Um, this is college, so this will go to current team. He still is a Charger. All right, he's still a Charger, but he'll always be an Aggie at heart. It's the A&M Aggie. Uh, hold all your jokes. Hold all your Aggie jokes, unless you want to type them into chat or leave it in the comments. We'd love a good Aggie joke. Uh, Flash alternate, Beckett witnessed. Chargers owner, Kentuck, you can now dress up as Isaiah Spiller for Halloween. Put that on your head if it'll fit. Might be a tight fit. Put on your jersey. You know, maybe at least stand outside your house. Give the kids candy as Isaiah Spiller. That'd be kind of scary, though. They'd probably get scared. It's like a little bit of a color mismatch. Aggie maroon and Charger power blue. That might be a color, but it's Halloween. You know, put on your dark lipstick. You know. Wow. Put on your dark lipstick. Get out your piercings. Um, be Isaiah Spiller. Was hoping for Stroud. Ah oh, man. Ah oh, man. On the uh, Ohio State. We've pulled an Ohio State Stroud before. Was that for you, Dave? For some reason I feel like that was Dave. Maybe not. Or may was it? Uh, may have been uh, Eric. I don't remember. Is this college? Did I order college? <laughs> What's happening? This never happens. They never do this much college. Clemson, speed helmet. Apparently it's college hot case. Uh, Beckett authenticated. I'm going to say Travis Etienne. I would assume that's true. Since he was number nine and all. Travis Etienne, Jacksonville, Jaggy Wire. It's going to be Danny and Shannon, I believe. What do you think of Etienne? Yeah. I like him more as an RB two. He did. He did have some nice games towards the end of the season last year, but he's a weapon, man. He's a weapon. He is. Um, I just. I like Etienne. We're talking fantasy with Skeeter. Fantasy football. Not as big into him as some others, but I'm a big Etienne guy. I like Etienne. All right. Uh, we only have five spots that don't have a hit. It's pretty good. Get your head shrunk like in Beetlejuice, then it'll fit. Good advice. Yeah, we, we do Gold Rush every week. We never get this much college, guys. There was two breaks ago. I think I had two college items out of 35 boxes So in the break. Just one of those one of those things. Sometimes you get college. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you get a San Francisco 49ers helmet. This is not college. This is definitely not college. And, oh, I know who this is. I liked this guy. This guy was underrated. Unless I don't know who it is. Beckett authenticated. You know who that is? Jeff Garcia? Yeah, baby. Jeff Garcia. Let's get a boom there. Oops. Underrated, man. Good player. Really good player. Followed up Steve Young, and he did a good job. He was good for other teams, too. He's pretty good for the Eagles. Um, Niners and Timmy, second hit. Was he with Denver? He was with Cleveland. I think. Okay, yes. I think it was a Browns. He's actually decent for them. Garcia was legit, man. He made the mo he was a little guy. He made the most of his uh, abilities. They had a, I like that Niners team. T.O. and Garrison Hurst, I think. A lot, of, a lot of those guys. All right, Saints on the board. New Orleans. Where are the Saints? Carrington. Carrington. Guess who? We know who it is. Is it Lobby? Olave. There you go, Carrington Saints. Uh, actually, the fourth team to get drafted in this. That is a very tiny Chris Olave signature. Uh, they shrunk him. Rick Moranis shrunk him uh, with the laser from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. And then he signed. Then he grew back. That's just what I heard. All right. I just make up. Scott 
Jim Drunkenmiller or Drunkenmiller or whatever. Oh wow! I forgot about him. How about a uh, Tim Rattay who works at Oklahoma State University? Oh, by the way, Tim Rattay. Oh. I know Tim Rattay's family, or my wife does a little bit. I think. All right, uh, I'm gonna go get six more mini helmets. I'm gonna dodge Skeeter. This is about the point of the break where I say, can we get a Tom Brady? This is about the point where I say, we probably break more memorabilia than most. I'm not going to say we break more memorabilia than anybody, but I would feel confident saying we're top five. I don't know. I want to get a Brady. Just saying. If anybody should get a, a Brady. Oh, was uh, Garcia a dolphin? Dave, would Dave not. says no. Okay, never a dolphin. Dave would not accept that. Dolphins usually, except Marino, they don't accept good quarterbacks. Bob Greasy? Well, that, after Marino left, they don't accept good quarterbacks anymore. I'll rephrase. Oh, it's pretty. See, Elray knows. Elray knows we're going to get a Titan. If you guys have ever watched these breaks, you're going to get a Titan. Oh, it's a good one. Is it the King? Oh, it's the King. It's not Elvis, but it's the King. It's not uh, LeBron James. It, the helmet would fall over. Uh, Beckett <laughs> witnessed <laughs> Derrick Henry. Bam. I really hope it's Henry or I'll feel like a buffoon. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. It's Eddie George. Why did he? Did that look like a... Tw you know why I thought it was Henry? Did that look like a 22? A little bit, but once like I 20. saw the E, I kind of thought this could turn to... I'm a buffoon. I'm a breaking buffoon. <laughs> a 50s audience laughing at me. El Ray, are you still cool with Eddie George? Are you still cool with Eddie George? He says nice, so I'm assuming he's fine. Come on, El Ray. Come on. I forgot about Jeff Garcia. I'm sorry. With the Lions. All right, let me get that marked. We had Saints last, right? Olave? Yes. All right. And El Rey, third hit. Titans, Texans. Titans, Texans coming through, man. You know, I thought it was the king. I thought it said 22. And I know Derrick Henry's autograph, but let's be honest. Eddie George and Derrick Henry, they kind of get a little scribbly. They kind of get a little scribbly on their auto. And we've been getting Derrick Henry a lot lately. There's certain name random Dolphin quarterbacks. Jay Fiedler. Ooh. Scott Mitchell. Kansas City Chiefs Alex Smith. We'll give that a boom. I love Alex Smith. I love his story. I don't. I didn't, I wasn't big on him as a player, but man, the comeback from the leg. Love the guy. Uh, super tough. Made it back when most people. Would not have been walking, probably. Uh, made it back and started again in the NFL. Kansas City Chiefs. Kringles. Nice one. You guys got to watch the documentary now, Crystal. Happy birthday. You ever watched it? I have not. Oh, it's insane. Skeeter, you got to watch it. It'll make you kind of go, eh, but it'll make you feel good, too. Make you feel good. I don't think I missed any other college items that I need to list. I think we've kind of gotten off the college bandwagon here. Well, you just jinxed it. Oh, just jinxed it. It's going to be the, uh, it's going to be a Mike Shaseth. It's going to be Coach K. It's going to be Coach K. Bobby Bowden. Hey, college. <laughs> <laughs> hey, college. I jinxed it. Rocket Ismail. If it's not him, I'm a breaking buffoon. Rocket Ismail. I'm going to guess, Cowboys. That is beautiful. That's how you sign a helmet anyway. Did he draw a picture of a cricket? Is that what it is? Rocket? And then he... That looks like a bug. Like from a bug's life. Oh, boy. Um, Rakib Ismail. <laughs> three seasons of the Raiders, three seasons of the Panthers, three seasons of the Cowboys. All right. I'm going to go to games played as a tiebreaker. Um, not games started. Uh, games played. So let me do Rocket. It'll be a Raider. 45 of the Raiders, 42 of the Panthers, 39 with the Cowboys. Okay, so where does he go? The Raiders. Okay, Raiders with 42? 45. 
Okay, 32, 45. Okay, 45. 45. 40, he had 42 with Carolina, 39 with Dallas. All right, you are correct. I like it. All right. Stand by. Vegas, right? Yes. All right. Had my spreadsheets freeze up for a second, guys. Uh, that is Neil. Neil with the Raiders. We will note that down. Um, and again, that's not a player we usually get. Not a player we usually get. There's your box. I thought it was going to be Bobby Bond for a second when I saw the gold helmet you said college. <laughs> I thought it was going to be Joe Montana, honestly. Your shoe, Dame. your shoe buddy? Yeah, we got him last time. All right, there you go, Raiders. I would not have guessed that. I would not have guessed that. Getting a lot on the college list. Second hit for Neil. I've always seen him on the Cowboys as well, but uh, three-way tie, number of seasons we go to games played. Games played. Not games started. Games played slash available on the team, on the active roster, whatever you want to say. Oh, oh, hey, my guy. Not your guy anymore. My guy. Still my um, guy. No, considering I have a lot of his cards. You do? Uh, he's your guy. Yes. Neon orange Bears helmet of a guy that I think is a l electric player. He's going to be the starter for the Steelers eventually. Justin Fields, bam. Every Bears helmet should be this. Yeah, it should I be the, the Flash. The Flash helmet is so much better. Gold Rush, if you ever watch this break, no... I mean, the Bears helmet is classic, though, but I love the orange helmet. Just do the orange helmets for a couple series, and then go back to the classic ones if you need Juice. to. Juice! There you go. See, make a smart pick, you get rewarded. Guys, we may fill the board before we even get to the cards here. We only have Juice with the Bills Patriots. And Ken talk with the Steelers Rams, which is usually a uh, Steelers usually get a couple hits. Uh, Carly says Bears still suck. Well, Ouch! Right, aimed at you. We, we know where the hate is with Carly. Not aimed at me at all. Right at you. She just she's she's jealous of Chicago. Carly laying off me to attack Skeeter. I like it. You should be here more. <laughs> no, because she already took a shot at you earlier. Distractions. All right, uh, Juice, Cowboys and Jets are now the leader. Four hits. It is, oh, this is nice. This is Coach? It's Coach, baby. It's Jimmy Johnson. Give that a boom. That is the Lunar Eclipse, white with a black logo. Would have liked to seen black ink on that, but I'm okay with it. No. Jimmy Johnson. Gotta go blue for a Cowboys helmet. Gotta go blue, I guess. All right, you're my boy, Blue. Uh, Beckett witnessed... Jimmy Johnson. I go Dallas. Don't need to label that one. Um, since it's got a logo on the helmet and all. And you are in Texas. That is true. Although Jimmy lives in Florida, last I checked. He lives in the Florida Keys, I think. Which I, <clears throat> I want to live there, too. I would never be jealous of anything to come out of Illinois, Carly says. Ooh. Man. Creating more enemies. Right here on Dynasty. Let this be known so when we watch this video years later. This is where Skeeter and Carly became enemies. This is where it started. Viking cry time. You know that auto. Oh. Justin Jefferson. And this is the amp. We never get the amp alternate. It looks like the Viking horn is like an arm. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I like the amp alternate. I don't know if I like the sticker being in the way of the auto, but that is JJ, baby. That is JJ. I don't know if I like the alternate, but whatever. That is a tough one to get. Not one we see, like, uh, ever. Justin Jefferson. Uh, Minnesota is... Danny and Shannon. Danny, Shannon, congratulations. All right, we have almost filled the board up. I'll be right back. I'm going to beam out. I'm going to go get some more stuff. You better get rid of this Jefferson before George sees it. Oh, yeah. he yeah. George is a Jefferson. Uh, I don't want to call him a super collector, but he's getting there. Nice. 
All right, guys, we've got three more pieces of memorabilia. Then we have some cards and a, a single photo as well. So I'm gonna, we're gonna do the memorabilia. I'm gonna clean off my table a little bit and then we'll do the cards. Um, still hoping for Michael Jordan in every break in the uh, best of sports. I'd like to get a Michael Jordan in there. We had a second year Jordan a while back. It was fun. Good to go hitless when we pull Michael Jordans. Could have signed on the horn, I agree. Could have signed on the horn. Well, we already have one item for if somebody goes hitless. I vote treasure ticket. Oh, yeah, we do have Willie Beeman. So, so technically, we're only going to have one spot that could be hitless. That's true. And the Willie Beeman jersey, I would assume, ain't cheap. So, I would assume the Jamie Foxx, pretty desirable. That's what the ladies say about El Rey. Fair. Man can cook. Dude's a stud. Has, got, cl has class. Got a TV on his refrigerator. I mean, yeah. That's what women ask you these days. Do you have a TV on your refrigerator? <laughs> really? You're like, yeah, I do. I'm like, I don't. And then they walk away. But I tell them my friend Elroy does. Ooh. JSN boom for the Seahawks. Seattle. There you go, Jesse. Oh, he's a Seahawk fan, I believe. I believe he is. There's your uh, little card there. I'll try to get that over to you, Skeeter. I like Whoa. this. Yeah. I've got a Seahawks uh, helmet somewhere in my old office that I used to have for my old job. It's still there. I still go in there and I still look at it. It's not signed, but it's just a Seahawks helmet because I like how these look. Very cool. JSN. We we usually get his college stuff. Fanatics authenticated. Don't see that a whole lot. Fanatics authenticated. Pretty cool. Third hit. Yeah, two Eagles, I believe. And, uh, yeah, we had the Eagles, like a college, and then a Devonta Smith. Two college hits, and then uh, Seahawks. Third hit. All right, we have two of these TriStar helmets. Then we have a football. We have a Gold Rush autograph football. Hey, that's, that's not a cheap uh, jersey, Dave. 150. That'll work. Willie Beeman going for 150. That one should be framed. The Willie Beeman should be framed. Oh, Dallas Cowboys, always safe, leading the way, Drew Pearson. Drew Pearson, Hall of Famer in 2021. I actually never think of him as a Hall of Famer, but he is. Good player. Wide receiver. Hall of Fame 21 inscription. Got the blue ink, Skeeter's right. Cowboys blue. The other 88, not the playmaker. Uh, that looks like... Prova authenticated and Beckett witnessed. So you have the dual authentication on that. Dual authentication. Two authentications are better than one. Maybe. Unless it's like Dave authenticating it, then uh takes down the value. All right, sensational signatures. I've noticed these footballs are deflated, so I don't know if the Patriots did this product or what. Um, that, well, that was a good joke. There it is. <clears throat> um, so anyway, I think you have to inflate this. So I don't know if you can, you know, depends on your lung capacity. You may need your uh, your bicycle pump to uh, pump these up. Pump them up. Hans and Franz? Like on. Do it now. So yeah, you may need to uh, pump up your football. If it's the Brady, it'll definitely be flat probably. Just saying. That's going in the office? There you go, Jesse. Not the show, the office, right? That's going in your office. They're not going to put that in the show, are they? Des Bryant's the other 88. Yeah, Des, uh, Drew Pearson, Michael Irvin. I think Michael Irvin deserves the 88 to be retired if I was if I had anything to say about it. Whoa. He's technically retired, but I heard he was maybe coming back. Corey Davis. Before we show the football, let's look this up. Corey Davis. That's a weird one. It's a Titan if he's not with anybody right now. Corey Davis. 
temporary retirement. August 23rd, Davis announced his retirement. March 14th of this year, he applied for reinstatements and the Jets officially released him off of the retired list, making him a free agent. Free agents go to the team that the player last played for, i.e. he's not retired, he's a free agent. He last played for the Jets. So that is a, by our rules, Corey Davis football goes to the Jets. That is, had to dig into the rules for that one. Uh, Jets, six hits. Cowboys and Jets dominating. And you can wear this as a hat if you don't want to inflate it. Or you can send it to the uh, Patriots. They might be able to uh, let you know how to handle that situation. Another Patriots joke. There you go. I know his auto because I collected a lot in 2017. And I got a lot of Corey Davis. Not kidding. I'm glad he came back. I don't know why he doesn't just come back with the Jets. They could use him. He'd be good with Aaron Rodgers. All right, guys, I'm going to clean off the table, turn down the sound, and then we're doing some cards. Be right back. Sound is back on. We are back. Um, here's the board, FYI. Thank you for watching. Please give us a thumbs up. Help us out. When you guys hit like, our channel does way better. We appreciate it. Um, here's the board. This is really nice. This is looking good. Uh, so right now we have the uh, Patriots, Bills, and then the Rams, Steelers. If you're highlighted, you have one hit. If you're highlighted with a number out beside, you have multiple hits. Um, and then we've got the Willie Beeman that will be assigned uh, to someone. So it's either going to be one of these hitless teams that gets the Willie Beeman. That would be actually Ken Talk would get first priority uh, on picking an item. But I've got some multi-sport stuff, so we have we may have way more on that list than just Willie uh, or Wony. That was funny. All right, um, I've got perfect penmanship which is, I would call this a medium-end uh, buyback, probably a $150 box, maybe. Uh, every autograph in this is graded a perfect 10. Uh, and then Gold Rush Electric, I juiced this up, guys. Uh, electric Football is almost a $300 box, one card inside. First time I've done two boxes of that, I think, because it's pricey. It is real pricey. Skeeter demanded that I do two boxes. Baking cookies, what did you miss? Nothing. Nothing. What kind of cookies are you baking, uh, Scott? Yeah, I think if you uh, if you get the Willie Beeman jersey, you probably got to get some other Any Given Sunday stuff in the, uh, in the frame as well. All right, perfect penmanship, just like I have. They named this after me. Did you know that? No. Skeeter uh, has a stern look on his face. All right, they, love. They listen to you, by the way. Love the Drake. They listen to me. Like the color of the. Oh, signature. that is true. They did listen to me. Uh, love the Drake is a Seinfeld reference. I just want to throw that out there. Seinfeld Bell, Drake London Prism rookie, red, white, and blue. And what do you think of the ink? I like it. That's, yeah. If you're, yeah. If you're gonna sign a Prism card, I love the paint pen, and it needs to be something other than a black pen. That looks amazing. Uh, they only graded the autograph. They did not grade the card. The autograph is graded a 10. Atlanta Falcons are... That's Neil. Neil uh, picking the Falcons in the second round. Falcons have been coming through lately. So uh, there you go, Hot Atlanta. Love it. 
All right, electric football. I'll make sure I listed my... Okay, I did list the Corey Davis. That was confusing. Corey Davis has reinstated himself. I think he had, like, went to counseling or something. Oh, I do not know. I think he quit football because he had some emotional issues or so. I don't, something like that. I think he realized he had to play with Aaron Rodgers. He got emotional. Sorry. No, you're not. Couldn't, re couldn't resist. Ho, ho, ho. The rich get richer. Brian has six hits for the Cowboys and Jets. Now you got seven. 15 of 15. Private signing Emmett Smith. And I think this is from the National Convention packs. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. I think the private signings, they put this in the silver packs every year at the National. Maybe the gold packs. I might tell you on the back. Yeah, I think this is going to be... Yeah, National VIP Party. You got to go to the VIP Party to get those packs. A lot of breakers sell them after the Panini Party. That is a big card. That is low numbered. Congratulations. Juice is loose. So, Juice, you would actually, I think you would tie the record. I think you would tie the record if you got to uh, eight. Eight hits would tie the record. I'm going to note that Emmett card just, just for kicks. I don't need to, probably. Um, Crack Dice Auto Cowboys. I want to note that down. Yeah, I think eight ties the record. Let's get that Mahomes. Skeeter says, let's get the Mahomes rookie. Josh Allen, so hitless. That is true. That would get rid of hitless. That would get rid of a hitless spot. Oh, I like that Emmett, man. I don't know why that's not graded. I don't know. Check it over. Probably card worth grading if it looks good. Maybe it. Uh, maybe it's not perfect. Don't know. Oh, ho, ho. my guy, Oklahoma State legend, greatest Oklahoma State player of all time, greatest Detroit Lion of all time. Is he the greatest running back? How about Emmett Smith and Barry Sanders? Nineties goats. That is his tops traded rookie, I believe. Uh, graded a 10 on the autograph. The card, again, is not graded. A little off-center. That is a great wand. Oh, nice. Skeeter uh, has adopted the uh, nice one. Barry Sanders, my guy. Second hit for you, Juan. You got a Lawrence Taylor card and a Barry Sanders card. So uh, I'll take Emmett and Barry all day long. All right, these are Leaf Hall of Fame, Inc., there's a PSA or Beckett slabbed Hall of Famer in every box. Autographed. Very high-end best of sports. That's from two years ago. This stuff's starting to dry up. I may have some of the last boxes of this in stock. Still have a few left. And then we have a photo. Multi-sport photo. We want the Nolan Ryan bleeding photo. That's our vote. All right, we're getting into the multi-sport stuff, so maybe not football on these items. We'll see. Barry Sanders, Emmett Smith. Nobody commented on those. Are you guys awake? Is anyone awake? What else do you want out of those boxes? Is this Ryan Shazier? Who is that? What do you think? Um, no, I'm going to go. No, it's... Uh, <clears throat> Larry Foote. I knew it. It says LF. I was like, it's Larry Foote. Something's a foot. This is going to go to the Steelers. Uh, Pittsburgh, and that's Kentuck. That's Kentuck. Multi-sport photo heading your way. We'll uh, put a piece of tape on that in a minute and uh, send that your way. Kentuck on the board. The only hitless spot is Juice with the Bills and Patriots, which means you will either get the Willie Beeman or something that comes out of here. You will choose one item. Unless the item in Best of Sports or the Leaf Hall of Fame is a Bill or Patriot. Correct. Then then the Willie Beeman and all other items will be random to all. So if we get a Bill or Patriot, the board is full, which is hard to do. Oh, mommy. Leaf Hall of Fame ink boxes don't really add much cost to the break. I get a really good deal on them. This is why I buy this product. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar auto. That's sweet. <laughs> the side of the card is like a, a basketball. Very like, cool. I always like that design by Upper Deck. 
Oh, this is very cool. NBA Legends. Uh, looks like 2000 Upper Deck. Signed in the silver ink. Uh, the auth uh, auto is authenticated. That's all PSA did was authenticate the auto. Kareem stuff has been going up in price, man. Oh, that's so cool. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Good luck on that. Now you got decision to make. Now you got decisions. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, PSA. Probably spelt that wrong. That's okay. Spelling's hard. Ask Dave. Hey, thank you, Juice. Nobody commented on the Emmett Smith or the Barry Sanders. Everyone just, uh, everyone's really quiet. You know, sit in the library, guys. You can, uh, you know. Tell Skeeter good job tonight and last night. Tell only, if you only if you think that's true. Tell Skeeter what you think of him, even if you're Carly. Even if you just want to unload on him like Carly. Skeeter's been helping out a lot the last two days. I really appreciate it. Thank you, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, we got a baseball card, Skeeter. We got basketball, now we got baseball. Uh, the late, great Joe Morgan. Boom. That is the Ted Williams set, I think, from 94. Not really sure. Uh, Hall of Famer, and he was big in... Uh, like running the Hall of Fame. I think he was on the Hall of Fame board, maybe. Joe Morgan Auto. You got some tough decisions here on the multi-sport stuff. 93. 93, Ted Williams. Off by a year. Those are two nice autos for uh, the Hall of Fame. I got to tell you, for the price of these boxes, seriously, this added like 60 to $80 to the break. It's insane. Um, all right, Joe Morgan... Joe Morgan Auto PSA. All right, if this is a Bill or a Patriot, those items will be random to all. If this is not a Bill or a Patriot, then uh, Juice, you will make one selection to fill up your hitless spot, and then the remaining item is going to be random to everybody. Thank you, El Ray. Yeah, El Ray. Tell Skeeter he did a good job, guys. Let him know. Or a bad job. Just let him know there, too. Oh, Classic. Classic card, and this is a football card. Bo Jackson, rookie, PSA 9 from 88 Tops. Bo Jackson, rookie, going to go to Neal. That is your fourth hit for the Raiders. Bo Jackson, Raiders. PSA 9. I haven't valued one of those in a while. It's a pretty, pretty nice card. PSA 10, of course, is crazy money, I'm sure. Probably pretty tough on the 10, but... And again, maybe it's not. Maybe they're all not crazy money. I don't know. I'm just saying things. I'm just saying things. Bo Jackson. Uh, here's our sheet. So check out our sheet here. Our sheet music. I'm going to take you over to my screen. This is the hit dispersion. I think we got this all correct. Uh, Bills and Patriots were missing from the break. Usually a pretty safe bet on the Bills. Uh, Patriots a little bit more of a long shot, but taking the Tom Brady chance there. Uh, Juice, you are going to make a selection, and it's going to go to the Bills. And that will fill up our hitless spots. You've got Willie Beeman, which is a Jamie Foxx jersey. You've got the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and you've got the Joe Morgan. That's pretty solid, man. Choose wisely. Thank you, Juan. Juice, choose one item. And that will fill up the bills, by the way. So I'm going to highlight them. And then the remaining items are going to be random to everybody. So everyone is still in this uh, little uh, party we're having. So don't tune out. You're still going to have a shot. If I'm honest, sometimes these uh, non-sport items or the ones you can't assign, not always of high quality. So not always. Sometimes, they're, you know, sometimes they miss, but that's to be expected. I think all three of these are pretty solid. These are very nice. That's why I keep restocking that Leaf Hall of Fame. There's not very many boxes left. It's just a it's just they do a good job. We got a Barry Sanders last time or the time before. <laughs> what a surprise. All right, Willie Beeman going to the Bills. The jersey's heading your way. Do you want to write Bills on that box? Uh you can. You don't have to, but you can. Okay. You can. 
Use my marker if you want. This one I got one. Better. I got one. Got one? Yeah. All right. All right. And uh, we got a random to do. We have a random to do. Let's uh, mix up the cards first. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Joe Morgan. We are going to mix those up six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So Joe Morgan is going to go first on our list, guys. Joe Morgan is going first on our list per the random. So let's move these over here. All right, and what teams are going to fill these spots? We're looking for the top two. We'll take all your first round teams. We're going to open up a new list in random.org. Six times, and uh, top two get it. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. Bears and Steelers six times. Bears and Steelers. Uh, we're going to take those. You don't have to label them. I can just put it on the list if you want. Oh, that's okay. Your team, Skeeter, the Bears. Who do they get? Bears got the uh, Joe Morgan. Nice. And the Steelers take the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And Steelers were hitless. You did get a photo of Larry Foote. Probably not a huge item. So Kareem going to you. Uh, that kind of evens it out. So, yeah. Bears Steelers gonna add a second hit to the Bears, second hit to the Steelers. There it is, guys. That's the final list of hits. There's the final list of our uh, other items, which uh, maybe needed a little description. And uh, that was our break. Uh, we will uh, ask you to go to our website, DynastyBreaks.com. Monday's breaks are listed. I'll list Wednesday's breaks over the weekend. Hit that thumbs up if you're watching. We'll be right back to say goodnight.